PGP 505. Make sure all the parts are clean. Press in the shaft seal. Take note of what rotation of the unit is. Just a little bit of hydraulic oil. I like everything to be well lubricated in any gear pump I make. Some dowel pins for alignment. Thrust blocks. Channel seals that go in channels of the thrust blocks. These go in to the groove. This is a gear housing. It has two ports in it already, but we have already uh, sent this to the ma our machinists. A three-quarter inch ORB port on the inlet side and a five-eighths ORB port on the outlet side. So these are body gaskets. These go in the channel of the gear housing. Some hydraulic oil on the insides of the gear housing. You have to be aware of which side is which. So this is the inlet, the outlet, so high pressure, low pressure. So clockwise is in that orientation. Grease on the area where the seal rides. The drive gear, the drive shaft. That just slides in. Idler gear, or the driven gear. And that goes in this section here. Take the gear housing. Paying attention to which side is which here. So this is the inlet, this is the outlet. Put the inlet on this side because as the oil comes in, it has to go round the outside. So when the pump spins in a clockwise manner, the gears will turn this way, in, around, out, this on. Make sure it lines up the pins. Take the other thrust block. Again, low pressure, high pressure. So the inlet side, pressure side. Just like that. And this is the port end cover. And that just rests right on top there. And it's just a matter of uh, bolting it together. Let's get torqued to 25, 25 foot-pounds. Let's test it on the gear bench and we usually run them into about a thousand psi. Okay. Fun!